Hello and welcome. It's great to have you back. Today we are going to continue learning about pandas. And in this video, we're going to learn how to randomly sample series and a data frame. So we'll uh, try sampling with different um, options. One is by changing number of elements. Other is changing total fraction of elements we need in the output. Then we'll look at how we can do random sampling using with and without replacement methods. Moving on to then, after that, we'll look at how we can use weights for each element to sample. Finally, in data frames, we'll look at how to randomly sample either rows or columns. And then we'll also look at how to use random state to lock in the ran random samples that we get after sampling. Let's get started in Jupyter Notebook. Here, I've already gone ahead and imported two libraries, NumPy and Pandas. Uh, next, I've created data for series as well as for a data frame. So you may have to pause this video to uh, take down these two items from the data. So for date, uh, series, we have series A, which goes from one through 10, and we have a series of weights, which has floating point numbers. There are 10 of them. And the weight of these uh, series for weights is equal to one. And I'll explain that in just a minute. Next, for the data frame, we have five columns, A, B, C, D, E, and then we have one additional column, which is weights. And we are going to use the weights column in both series and data frame for sampling. So let's get started with the sampling part. First, we'll do sampling using N for a series. And towards the end, we'll start working on the data frame. Now, a simple sampling would be a dot sample. And this would sample just one number or one element from the series. And each time we run this cell, we get a different number that is randomly picked from that particular series. Now, if we need to pick a certain number, if we need a specific number of outputs, then we can specify that by the n argument. So we want to say n is equal to four. In that case, we get four numbers that are randomly sampled from the series and they are in the output here. Similar to n, there is another option we can do the sampling, which is called fraction. And for fraction, we can specify a percentage. So let's say sample n is equal to four. So we, are, we cannot specify n and fraction at the same time. So we need to specify fraction. And let's say we say 5.5 fraction is what we need. What that will do is it will pull 50% of the elements from the series. So we have total 10 elements. So 50% of that is five. And so we have five elements in the output here. After that, now let's look at sampling with and without replacement. So for with and without re replacement, let's say we sample n is equal to four again. And here we say replace is equal to false. What that does is when the sampling process starts, let's say the number eight is picked first then that number is not put back in the series to get the next number. So that number is gone. Now we have just nine numbers remaining. Then the number three is selected. That number is put out. Now we just have eight numbers in the series. So and so on and so forth. So each number that is picked is not cannot be repicked for the output. On contrary, there is a if we sample with replacement, what that tells uh, Python is uh, the number that was picked once can be picked again. So when we try, when we specify as replace is equal to true, we are getting 10 twice and we are getting six twice. It means that when the 10 was picked first, it was again put back in the series. So the series was always of length 10. So each time there was a chance that the number 10 
could have been picked again and then it got picked uh, later on similar thing happened with six as well after this now let's try sampling using weights so we have weights and for weights what we have is the weight series that we are going to use so sample n is equal to let's say four uh, four elements using weights is equal to weights and here we see that four numbers were selected now let's go ahead and check if that makes sense so our series a is here and our series for weights is here so the highest weight is for the element as index number two so 0.5 and 2 is 3 so we have 3 in the output next number is at index 5 which is which has weight of 0.25 so for index 5 which is 0.25 we have 6 and we have 6 in the final output now after this one we have index 3 and 4 which both have the weight equal weight of 0.1 so out of 3 and 4 we have 4 and 5 so we have both 4 and 5 in the final output here i have also seen that uh, if the both the weights are same it's not necessary that both the indices will get picked uh, if sometimes when you run this you'll get a different answer where only one of that is selected so let's go ahead and select this again so our usual uh, point 0.2 so we have 3 3 is there that we had last time and then when we in second one is at index five so index five we have six so three and six we have those however this time instead of picking so next is point one and those are at indices three and four so this time for indices three and four instead of picking both four and five only four was picked this is very important it's not necessary that if the weights are equal all the elements in that particular weight would get picked in that item in that iteration so here only four was picked five was not and after point one there is the next down is point oh five and point oh five is index nine and at index nine we have ten so ten was picked now let's look at how we can sample data frames and in sampling data frames the method works similar way so if we are looking to sample using n as we did in the series we have types d dot sample n is equal to 4 and we can randomly select 4 uh, records or 4 rows from the particular data frame here we can also go ahead and use weights as we did just now and for weights we need to specify df is equal to uh, sorry df dot sample n is equal to let's say we're picking three uh, sorry four and weights is equal to weights so here we want to make sure that the weights is in quotation and when we run this we get uh, these four rows from that particular data frame we can check that so the highest it was 0.5 and we got 0.5 picked then one after that was 0.25 so that row got picked and after that there was 2.10 and luckily this time both the point ones were picked if you run this again maybe we'll get a different number now we are getting the same okay so this time both point ones were not picked only this one was picked and the second one was dropped and we have 0.05 that was picked similar to sampling the rows we can also sample columns so how do we sample columns to sample columns we need to specify the axes so if we say df dot sample and n is equal let's say we are sampling three columns we need to specify axis is equal to one what that does is it's telling python to uh, look at columns and not rows here if we specify this as zero that would change it to the rows that we saw earlier so for columns we want to specify axis as one now moving on to next item we can look at how we can use a random state 
so random state is useful when we are trying to run codes or either on two different machine or even uh, in this particular video if we want to check the code that are run for random sample is the same as the code that you are probably running on your computer if that is the same and one way to make that happen is by setting a fixed value for the random state so to do that we need to type df dot sample let's say we are picking n records and uh, four records uh, here we can set up random sample random state is equal to let's say one now when we set random state as one we get these main records now if we run that cell again we'll get exact same records back i'm sure when you are running this code on your computer with random state set to one you should get exactly the same records on your computer as well now here if we for some reason if we remove the random state and run these two lines again then as you can see we got two completely different numbers uh, two completely different set of four records in each of those two outputs so therefore having random state really helps in in that matter so i'm gonna go ahead and run this again okay that's it for this video hope you all learned something new about sampling how to sample series and how to sample a data frame and we'll continue our journey in pandas with new videos coming tomorrow i uh, please share like and subscribe it helps me stay motivated to upload more videos for you guys i've also started a series uh, for exercises and that will be coming up soon i'll post the links in the description when the exercises are ready so the objective is to get you experienced in the uh, theory that we have learned in the previous lectures so the exercises could be one way to have more practice for the code that you are writing in these videos thank you and i'll see you all in the next video